is letter Q. And we know whenever there's a Q, there's a U. There's a U. Q and U are together. You got it. So we will be working on writing capital Q. We will read words with the sound, and we will write words with the sound. All right, so let's get warmed up. Let's get our brains thinking. Crisscross applesauce, hands to your lap. Are you ready? Figure out this word. It. Quick. Quick, like I do it really fast, I do it quick. You got it. Here's your next one. They didn't have a pen or pencil, and they used to use a quill. Ache. Quake. 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 Odd. 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 That's actually a part of your body. Okay, ready? You're going to tap words with me. Now remember, even though Q and U, when we see the sound, we blend it with When we go to tap it, it's actually two different sounds. Can you remind me of the two different sounds that we hear inside of Q-U? Okay. Chael? Okay. It's and? W. Yeah. So, when we tap the word quit, watch me. Quit. Quit. It's actually two separate sounds. Okay? All right. Say quick. Quick. Let's tap it. Quit. Say quit. Let's tap it. It. Say queen. Queen. Let's tap it. Queen. Good job. Say quite. Quite. Let's tap it. Quiet. Say quill. Quill. Let's tap it. Quill. Say quake. Quake. Let's tap it. Quake. Good job. All right. So now we're gonna add some sounds. Okay. Make sure you're okay. Here we go. Let's add the sound. Here is our ending. Say ick. Ick. And quick. You got it. Quick. Here's our next one. Say it. It. And quick. 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 Like don't quit. Don't give up. Ooh, we got a double e here. Say een. Een. And quick. Queen. We're going to do a whole unit on kings and queens. How fun is that? So much fun. Yeah. Say ill. Ill. And qu. Quill. 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 Say ache. Ache. And qu. Quake. Good job. Quake. That was quake. All right. So now I'm going to write the whole word. And we're going to take the qu away. Say quick. Quick. Don't say quick. Quit. Quit. Don't say quit. It. Good job. More friends participating, please. I am. Say queen. Queen. Don't say quit. Queen. Say quill. Quill. Don't say quit. Quill. Say quest. Take away this and put in a quite. 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 It's not 
quite ready for recess time. Quite. Last one. Okay, let's say make. Make. Now say make, but instead of mmm, say quake. Quake. Great job. All right, here's what you need to do. Go get your mirrors. We're gonna look at that sound for Q. If you have a mirror, come see me. Oh, I really like the way my friend Juliana can go back to her seat without talking. Nice job. This is sad that all these friends are not mirrors. Now. Oh, right, you need to. This isn't mine. Hold that mirror straight at your lips. Take a look, repeat after me. Who would like to raise their hand and tell us what's happening? What's happening in our mouth? Juliana. She's got it right here. When we go to make the k sound of k, our mouth is open because we need our tongue to raise up to the top of our mouth and to scrape. And then when we hit that W, that sound, our lips come together. See, you can see that. Did you feel your lips come in? Did you see your lips come in? Yeah. So Q U is actually two sounds. It is the k and the mm sound. We just write it, we represent it with a Q and a U. Yeah, a Q and a U in our writing. And when we go to read it, we have to make sure we're making both the k and the mm sound really close together. Nicely, nicely done, guys. You can go put your mirrors away. Oliver, please have a seat. All right, so we're going to take a look. And we're gonna figure out how to make capital Q. Before we do, let's run through our letters and our sounds, okay? We've been really focusing on capitals for the past couple weeks. So let's just go through and name our capital letters. Name. R. Name. P. Name. O. Name. B. Name. N. Great job. Name. N. M. Name. G. Name. C. Name. S. Name. Z. Name. A. Name. L. because that's the only way that you're going to grow your brain. Okay, so take a... Initiative. You got it. Are you ready? Letter. E. e. Sound. A. Letter. U. Sound. O. Good job. Letter. P. P. Sound. Letter. F. Sound. It's not a race to do it before other people. It's us practicing together. Letter. L. Sound. O. Letter. L. Sound. Letter. K. Sound. Letter V sound. Letter S sound. Letter R sound. Letter Q U Q U sound. Good job. Letter T sound. Letter T T sound. Letters T noisy sound. Digraph sound. Keep going. Digraph.
letter C sound. Letter G sound. Letter G G sound. Yes, scrape that one. Letter Y sound. Yoga. Letter I sound. Letter O sound. Letter V sound. Letter S sound. All right, so Q is pretty, capital Q is pretty easy, guys. Thank you, June. It's a lot like capital O, except we're going to add a line in it, okay? And we've already done capital O. So remind me, where do all uppercase letters start? At the skyline. At the skyline. We use uppercase letters when, Angelina? When do we use an uppercase letter? That's where they start. When do we use them? When can we write an uppercase letter? We can write uppercase letters when for somebody's name or, or yeah, or the beginning of a sentence. So because take a look, is uppercase Q starting with a straight line or a curve? A curve. Yeah. Am I gonna start right here on the left or do I have to come in a little bit? Come in a little bit. Yeah, helper's really gonna help me. Helper hand's gonna tell me which way to fly. So I'm going to make sure that I get my helper hand on here. I'm going to come in because I have to fly across the skyline and curve down to the grass and back up to the sky. Then I get to come in here and make a slip slant line. You notice my slant line does not have to come up to the plane. It goes like right in the middle of the plane and the grass when I go to slant it. Okay, so your slant line doesn't have to start at the plane. It kind of goes in the middle. Remember when we did letter E? Letter E started in the middle? Yeah. yeah, this is another time where something starts in the middle. Fly back, go down, so we have our O, and then I come here and I slam it. Say Q, Q. Yeah. So you'll go back and you're gonna do some uppercase Qs, please. Each G it starts off like a circle. Make sure you go all the way up to the plane and you slide in. Uppercase G. Okay. Nice job, Chill. You like wrote it super fast, my friend. Okay. All right, I'm gonna erase and give myself some more room and do some new ones. Uppercase I. Uppercase I. Now I'm gonna come in a little bit, even though it has a straight line, because I have to slide across the top and slide across the bottom. I'm gonna. And this I stands for you. It's another name for you. You can say I, or you can say your own name. But that I, I is always a capital. I am Miss That's right. Erase uppercase H. Uppercase H. Good job, Dalton. I like how hard you're working, buddy. H and a half. Jameson, go get a Skittle. I like that you keep your voice off during this, bud. There's no reason really to be chatting to our friends. Uppercase H. Next, uppercase F. F, uppercase F. This is a straight line letter, so you can start all the way over to the left. Slide across the top, slide across the middle. How about we do one that looks just like it? Uppercase E. Uppercase E, just like our F. Let's do one more for our warm up. Uppercase R. Now remember, it looks like a P, but we add a slant line. We pull down straight, we curve around, see how we got the letter P? But then we slant it into our R. Nice, erase lowercase letters. I'm gonna say a sound and you're gonna write the letter. Write the letter that we use to spell the sound F. 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 Nice job. You have to slide across and curve up and around. Everyone, what's that letter? E. E. Erase. Write the letter we use to spell the sound Open. That's what we go for. Everyone, what 
letter? Y. Yes, it's a slant, slant, and slide down your slant. Nicely done. Erase. Write me the letter we used to spell this down. Everyone, what letter? because that was a decision made by the whole school. All right, so our first word is quit. Say quit. Quit. Say it and move it. Quit. Quit. Tap it. It. What's our last sound? 
around and quit, Patty. Yeah, it's a T. Good job. Let's write the whole word together. Make sure you start at the plain line. Make sure all your letters are nice and close together because it's one whole word. That is the word quit. I never give up. I don't quit. quit. I keep on trying. Even